Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Amy. I'm Amy and today I have two DIYs for you because one of them got ditched. These are, I've repurposed these, that's why you see a little glue spot. I have four of the galvanized um, things from Dollar Tree and the initial thing I made with them, I had to paint them white because I couldn't get all silver, but I have painted them with a um, Rust-Oleum metallic silver. And now I'm going to mix this um, chestnut, chocolate bar, and metallic paint, metallic copper. And I'm first taking, I measured, because this was my initial plan, I measured enough jute to go around to attach these because they have holes at the tops and at the top and the bottoms a bottom so I'm um, applying this and then I take it outside to dry but I just measured those to go around the top and the bottom and I gave myself some you know wiggle room after I mixed all those paints together and now I'm going to try to make this look rusty with the same paint mixture so I'm just going along the edges and on those raised up areas with a sponge brush but I just mixed it was mostly the chestnut and a little bit of chocolate bar and then some of that metallic copper to get a rest look and I have five of these panels because um, well you'll see I held my hand up for four, but I actually have five. I hope y'all are doing okay. It's been a while since I posted a video. I've been very down in my back. I wasn't even able to walk without excruciating pain but it is a little better so I do this to all of them And then I go in and actually take a, a dry brush or a chippy brush and do some heavier distressing. I don't know why I keep... It's because what, what I'm doing now is working with just four. So I take this wire and it's a, it's a rusty wire because I initially thought I was going to have to attach these with E6000 and E6000 and I, I've only used it once and I swore I'd never use it again and then I'm like, I'm going to try this. Initially I was going to try the um, jute but I thought well this will attach it better or attach them so I'm going in one hole and then going on the inside of the other hole and coming out and I'm stretching it out because I don't want it to be loose and I had fake nails on and those didn't make it <laughs> I had to rip those things off and then I got this paint stuff all over my natural nail and 
Yeah, I don't know why I put those on. But I haven't gotten my nails done professionally since I, I got a nail fungus like over a year ago or two. And I'm like, mm-mm. So then I'm going to go through that hole, come out. And I think, hey, this is going to work. And it did. Now I'm going to go through the back side, pull through the front go through and I'm just going right along and I get them all attached at the top and then I start to do the bottom but then I had to go get my husband because I couldn't get the wire tightened well enough I just I lack the strength okay so intermission Full disclosure time. You saw what I was doing with the, and I was so proud of me, with the wire going around to connect them because I did not want to use E6000. I swore I would never use E6000 again, but I was going to. That's why you never say never. I, I thought I was going to have to with this. And um, so I got that around the top e6000 made me high one time I swear I was doing crafts I had I was ready to move the, I don't know if I used too much because I'd seen women use it and it didn't have that you know I never heard that about it so I was opening up windows had fans going and everything else but anyway so I go to get my husband just to ask him to tighten that wire for me and he comes in and asks me why I did it like that. So then he takes and un he undoes what I did, undid what I did, and goes in these corners. And I was going to glue the top. I was going to use the E6000 for the top. And he thought I was making an outhouse or something because he was like, well, you need a slanted roof. I'm like, I'm making a pumpkin. Okay, now you know what I'm making. I'm making a square pumpkin. And, you know, then we had to get into the pumpkins aren't square conversation and all that. So, and then he went and got something to make more holes here and to glue together with super glue, wood glue, and hot glue. And then I'm going to wrap them with this jute twine that I painted yesterday because I was, initially I was going to use the jute twine to attach them so I wanted it to look rusty just I guess I'm just going to have to trust the process here and get this um, figure out which ones I want to use and then embellish it so I will be right Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to use these two. These are just scrap pieces of wood. And I have used hot glue and super, or yeah, hot glue and super glue wood glue to attach them. And now I'm taking that jute that I was going to use to attach the galvanized um, pieces. And I'm going to wrap this around. And I get it going with hot glue and then I just wrap and wrap and wrap and then I end up having to use the other piece and then I run out so I just grab my jute and finished just plain jute and finished wrapping it and then I, I paint it because <laughs> I'm like I'm not going through painting because, you know, I knew how much I was going to need for the top. And I even gave myself a little bit of, bit extra. But it wasn't getting wrapped and wrapped and wrapped like this. So, I fall short. Right about there. So, I take regular jute and finish it and then paint it. Because I saved my paint mixture. I put some... Um... 
plastic wrap over it. You can do that. You can even put it in the refrigerator. You can take your brushes and wrap them in saran wrap and place them if you're going to, you know, if you're going to use them for the same color, which I'm bad about putting them in the water and grabbing another brush if I end up needing. I try to save them instead of going through so many, but I go through so many because I changed my mind so much. Just like DIY, what was supposed to be DIY number two. Oy. And I worked so hard on that, but it was a flop. Good idea. I just could not, I couldn't make it come to fru fru fruition, fruition, is that how you say that? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't happening, so, um, now, <laughs> I have this chicken wire ribbon, and I'm not wearing my gloves here, I actually did this before I did you know, it was a previous clip that I just added in here. So I'm not wearing my gloves. Get paint all over me. But I'm just going to use that same mixture. Because it is, a, but now it is sharp. Once you cut it in the ends, they're very sharp. But I'm going to make a bow out of this. At this point, I don't know if I am or not. I'm just preparing for what I may or may not do because that's one of my biggest problems. I have an idea in my head of what I'm going to do and then I will totally change my mind. I'm thinking at this point, I'm just thinking like a barnyard pumpkin some farmer made or something, you know. I really don't know. I had those panels and I had used them to make a sign that had the word leaves and the word fall on them but at that time I couldn't get all silver so I had to paint them so this time I painted them with the spray paint and now I used I think fix all and and I'm gonna tell you that stuff's as bad as E6000 I thought hmm I'm not going to use the E6000, I'm going to use this Fix-All. Well, they may as well be the same thing. I said, thing, thing. So I'm putting a little bit of that on there. I ended up with a headache. I'm not lying. I can't handle this stuff. I don't know how people use it. So I put some Fix-All on there because I needed to attach that metal and I didn't know if just hot glue would or not, you know, for very long. So the fix-all, which I'm thinking is just another word for E6000, and I'm throwing it away. The E6000 and this stuff, oh, it gave me the worst headache because I was like, what is that smell? After I closed it up, I thought, did I leave that open? Nope. Stuff is... You know like the airplane model glue back in the day that, I don't know, because my brother used to do a lot of models and he had that glue and whew, I'm telling you, I can't handle it. So now I'm taking, this was a hula skirt that I've cut, I think I used this to try to make dirt one time. That's why I have it cut up in so many parts and pieces and I end up going in and spraying down a um, spray adhesive because it's in so many pieces, but I don't think I show that because <laughs> I'm telling you, I had a time. I have these ideas. Okay. I put that leaf. I put the ribbon and I put the ribbon through those holes that my husband put the extra holes and then I put a little metal leaf 
that came off something. I keep all that stuff. And so this is my junky galvanized square pumpkin or whatever. And I was going to put something on the bottom to keep it from scraping or something like that. But I didn't need to. But you could. It's pretty big. If you're new here, I want to welcome you and I hope if you like the content, you'll consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, leaving me a comment, and if you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you all. Now this one, this is the replacement number two. This was supposed to be number three. And this sign, or it's, I don't know what it is, it's big. I had a hard time getting it in frame. It has some raised up pumpkins on it. I don't know if this came from Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. I don't know. But I get all that off and then I spray it down with water to get the glue um, and the rest of the paper off because you cannot paint that. Oh, I had a mess. Because it's pretty... I've got another one. I don't know how long those things are. <laughs> but I just... I almost just ditched, ditched this whole video because... <laughs> nothing was going right. So I have these little wood ornament they're like wood round slices so I put painters tape on the back and fill in these holes with some lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree let that dry and then sand them it doesn't go all the way through to the back because that's a pretty deep hole And now I'm going to paint the, um, I'm going to call it a base with antique parchment. And I'll have all of the um, supplies that I use in the description box. I need to start making Christmas DIYs, but I don't want to because I love fall. It's my favorite season. Um, so now for this and I'm almost out of this it's harvest orange and I mix it with chocolate bar to get the color orange that I want and I have sanded those places where I put the spackling and this was another one that I messed up I didn't even show it because it was going to make the video too long but after I paint it, I started out, I was going to do stenciling. And it totally messed up. Um, so I repainted them. And I found these letters. See, there's my little stencil letters. I've done that before and it didn't mess up. I think it was the brush I was using. Or just me. So I have these lined up and centered on my little mat there oh and you all that heat gun I was thinking okay it's parchment paper it won't burn it because it can go in the oven I wasn't thinking about my little placemat it's warped yeah and one time I ironed I used my I had another um, sewing mat that's underneath there with the the numbers on it I put a towel down and I was like I'm gonna I, shh. it melted that thing my husband got me a shirt that says in my defense I was left unsupervised so he's like you have no common sense whatsoever 
Okay, thank you. But it's true. <laughs> I can't be left unsupervised. So I know... I'm like, okay, wait. Wait. Hot glue's not gonna hold this. I need something to reinforce it on the back. But I didn't. I didn't have to because I put a bunch of hot glue. I mean a bunch. So then when I go to try to reinforce it on the back, the hot glue's hardened up. And yeah, so I just hot glue it up. And then when I put down the Spanish moss, I hot glue it up some more. So they're there. They're not going anywhere. And I don't know what happened here. I had some little bitty bitty, they came from Dollar Tree, the little stems. Some people call them peduncle. That word just sounds wrong to me. <laughs> I know that's the official term. I call them stems. Um, I cut them. They're the little bitty skinny ones. So I measured them, cut them. Apparently didn't do a great job measuring and put them on the top. Because these little round circles are supposed to be pumpkins. And I had this sped up because I am slow. I'm very slow when it comes to making crafts. Um, so I'm putting the Spanish moss down. All around it's the gray Spanish moss. And I add extra where those pumpkin are wood slices are because yeah I need some reinforcement I wish I had left this so this is an option and I may change it because but when I looked at it it didn't look right to me but now that I'm editing the video it looks better than what I did so maybe just go with your gut <laughs> so instead I've made little bitty bitty individual bows and I can't show myself making a little shoestring bow because it takes me forever. So I just made these little shoestring bows out of jute. And then I have some acorns that I got from Hobby Lobby. That I put down. This is why it's so hard for me to make videos. I mean, before I started making video or crafts for videos, I could whip something up and just, you know, but the whole video part of it, I'll leave my camera going forever or I'll cut it off and forget to cut it back on. So I've put three of those little acorns down. I thought those leaves were too vibrant. Now I have these little, and I almost didn't get those when I got them, but I couldn't find any other fall supplies. They're like plastic glass looking leaves. And I put one, whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. That's a symmetrical thing with me. I don't know. Um, it's like straightening pictures. I will go into a doctor's office and straighten their pictures. I'm like, mm -mm. I can't believe y'all are leaving these. And my husband's like, I do not know this lady. Um... So yeah, there it is, and like I said, I think the leaves looked better, and it was hard taking a little short video of this because this thing's long. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for all of my um, mishaps. And again, all of the items that I used will be in the, the description box. And my next video, as bad as I hate to say it, will probably be Christmas. I'm not ready for it, but 
Thank you all for watching and you all have a great rest of your week.